The military health system works to preserve the health and well-being of U.S. service members. From the initiation of widespread penicillin use in World War II to the present-day creation and testing of life-saving vaccines, military researchers and clinicians have been at the forefront of efforts to ensure that the latest and best preventive care, treatment, and rehabilitation options are available to service members. In May 1983, President Ronald Reagan signed a bill into law establishing a private not-for-profit organization charged with supporting medical research and education at the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences and throughout military medicine. Today, the Henry M. Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine is the world's most extensive provider of private support services for U.S. military medical research, managing more than 1,000 research grants and projects across the nation and around the world. More than 90% of its more than 2,000 employees are in the field, working side by side with military researchers and other federal personnel. Acting as partners in progress, HJF provides critical administrative, staffing, and research support to help military medical researchers and clinicians maintain their scientific focus. The foundation facilitates initiatives ranging from single investigator projects to large multi-site programs throughout the vast network of military medical centers across the country and around the world. Recognizing that collaboration hastens medical discovery, HJF links the military medical system with other federal and private partners to help ensure that the best minds are brought to bear in advancing care for our wounded, ill, and injured warriors. Tug McGraw Foundation um, really started with my relationship with Tug McGraw, of course. His, his lasting wish, his dying wish, was really to uh, help others who would follow him to have a better quality of life as they also were battling a brain tumor. People that really haven't thought that that quality of life is important, I actually beg to differ with this, and I think that quality of life is even more important. Tug's tragedy became a triumph for patients with brain tumors. Our priorities have been to fund projects, inspire the next generation of medical researchers, and encourage collaboration that will help us find the answers we seek. Over the last five years, we have established the Tug McGraw Quality of Life Research Program at Duke University, as well as a pre-medical internship and scholarship program for female athletes. We have hosted a Brain Tumor Quality of Life Research Summit for recognized leaders to reinforce the need for quality of life in clinical trials and established Team McGraw for individuals training for athletic events from 5Ks to marathons who raise funds to support our mission. Recognizing that other areas of research inform the science around brain cancer, we expanded our mission to include a broader spectrum of neurosciences. Moving forward, the foundation will establish its new headquarters at the Yauntville Veterans Home in Napa, California. And tonight, we are very proud to kick off yet another significant and promising partnership as we begin Country United. Just 1% of the U.S. population protects the remaining 99% of us by volunteering in America's uniform services. These men and women swear an oath of duty to put our lives before their own. It is our duty, in turn, to provide them not only with the highest quality of life and best medical care available today, but also to expedite for them the treatments and cures of tomorrow. Armed conflict has always fueled tremendous leaps forward in medicine as we strive to ensure that our brave warriors receive the best care humanly possible. The challenge to care for our service men and women cannot be confined to the military. It must be addressed by all Americans. To preserve the health of our service members and their loved ones, more of us must become engaged. We must call on our full wealth of resources as a nation marrying the best science of our military medical system 
with the most advanced research from our universities, foundations, and corporations. The Henry M. Jackson Foundation for the Advancement of Military Medicine, with its focus on supporting military medical research and education, has joined with the Tug McGraw Foundation with its commitment to accelerating treatments and cures, to improve quality of life, to create country united. This ambitious initiative is aimed at expanding collaborations among the public and private sectors to advance care for our wounded, ill, and injured warriors. As with all advances in military medicine, civilians, too, will benefit from these technological and clinical breakthroughs. By helping to identify scientific and funding resources and creating expanded partnerships among public and private researchers, Country United seeks to provide greater opportunities for all Americans to come together to improve the spectrum of medical care for our service members and civilians alike. This is what Country United is all about. Army Ranger Jeff Strucker put on every piece of protective gear he had, but nothing would shield him more during a 17-hour firefight than his bulletproof faith. In October 1993, 18 American soldiers lost their lives during the Battle of Mogadishu, Somalia, on a mission to capture a warlord who was turning his homeland into a humanitarian disaster. In 2002, Major Strucker was prominently featured in the national bestseller, later made into a motion picture, Black Hawk Down, as one of the brave young soldiers who fought in the battle. His survival of some of the most intense combat seen by U.S. troops since the Vietnam War profoundly changed him, altering forever the course of his life. When he returned, Major Strucker decided to become Chaplain Strucker. A decorated member of the U.S. Army's most elite fighting corps, Major Strucker now serves his nation by providing empathy and much-needed support for today's military men and women dealing with the stress of warfare. The role he plays in helping to maintain the spiritual health of our armed forces is significant, as service members struggle to cope with repeated deployments and exposure to intense fighting. Military chaplains have become a key source of support for many who are reluctant to approach psychological counselors. Through his heartfelt work and dedication, Chaplain Jeff Strucker continues to serve as a hero to his nation and his fellow soldiers.